first thing I want to talk to you about though is um, the the media integration from your PC and um, the Xbox in order to play video files as well as music. I think music's fairly obvious, but um, it will play MP3s and WMA, which is Windows Media Audio. Um, I think it'll play WAVs as well. Um, but we're going to talk about videos today, so it will play um, DivX, I'm pretty sure it will play XVID, or I'm not sure what versions it will play. Um, what I want to talk to you about the different formats that it will play from. Um, firstly, you might not realise that it will play from a USB key. Um, so if you've got your little USB stick, I haven't got mine here now, but um, if you've got your little, your, your little USB stick and you've put your video onto there, um, you can plug that straight into the front of your Xbox in the USB port and by navigating through to the media menu down to videos um, you hit the X button in order to change source and um, this will stop it looking on your console and you can select um, for your portable media I think it's called um, and that, that will then look onto your USB you can look through your folders navigate to the video file and just play, just play your video. Um, in order, the codecs don't come as standard. In order to download these, make sure you're connected to Xbox Live, and um, it'll play the video straight away. It'll just download the codec instantly. And um, if not, it'll say it needs to go and get codec, and you can just follow the instructions through. It take you onto Xbox Live, download the media codec. And, um, I've noticed that even once this is installed. If you're not connected to Xbox Live, when you try and play the video, it won't play. Even though you've installed the codec already, it needs the Xbox Live connection. Um, it doesn't need to be a gold membership, it'll work on silver. Um, so you don't need to pay, but it does need to be plugged in um, to your internet. The other option for streaming media is going to be streaming from your PC on your home network. Um, I presume you're using a home router um, that comes with your broadband or whatever if you've got various ports in the back. So you've plugged your Xbox into one of these ports or you connect wirelessly to the router. Uh, make sure that your PC is connected to the same router and you should be able to set this up without too much of a problem. Um, the first thing is I got really bummed when I realised that Windows Vista had Windows Media Center on it and that the, the Xbox is a Windows Media Center extender so it will let you enjoy some of those features through your Xbox. Um, I bought a new desktop PC with Vista on and I've used the, the Media Center and to be honest I'm not that impressed. Um, you, it does give you access to some internet channels which is quite cool, some little music videos and some MTV channels but not many people have jumped on this bandwagon at all. Um, there's some sports news and stuff, but to be honest, you're not going to be able to just flick on and watch the programs you want to watch. It's just not there. Uh, the other problem is with streaming video and stuff. It will stream like Windows Media Video and it will stream MP3s. Um, it's got no codec support for DivX or XVID, so that's really limiting. You can't. It also won't let you play DVDs that are on your on your PC. It won't share those either. Um, it's not you don't get the full experience that you would have on your PC using the media center. Um, for this reason, we're going to avoid media center completely and just use Windows Media Player, which is free to download. Make sure it's version 11. Um, if you download this and get this on your PC installed, um, we'll go over and show you how to set it up on your PC. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to set up your PC end. Um, I'm using Windows Vista, but it will be exactly the same in XP as well. Um, the software that we use is Windows Media Player. Um, make sure that you've upgraded to version 11. So if we launch Media Player and go to Library, if you go down to Media Sharing, then these are the different devices on your network um, that you can share the media files with from Media Player. Um, Xbox should be on there. If not, make sure your Xbox is turned on and it's connected to the same router. Um, you probably have a little yellow exclamation mark here. I've got an X because I've just disconnected it. Um, but if you click the Xbox icon and click Allow, and then it turns to a green tick. If you click OK, 
Now just make sure that any media that you want to share with your Xbox is in your media library on your PC. Um, a media player doesn't need to be running for this to work now. As long as your PC is on and not asleep, then um, it will share video with your Xbox. Okay, now that you're sharing your PC's video files um, at that end, now come back to your Xbox and, um, and navigate through to the, the media section, down to videos, and make sure you change that source again. If you click the X button, it'll let you change media source. And this time, select your computer off the list. Um, it'll take a minute to connect, it kind of looks through, and it's basically building a library of what was, well, collecting the library from Media Player on your, on your PC and bringing that through down the network. Now you can navigate through the various folders that you've got um, that you're using on your library on your PC and, um, and you should be able to play a video. Also potentially hazardous to your health. Okay, now that's all set up. Um, the only other thing I'd recommend is um, I, me and Tamak have both bought the Xbox uh, remotes. They're 20 quid in the shops, it's kind of expensive. Uh, you can get unofficial ones for like 10 quid perhaps, for like a joystick one or whatever. Now me and Tamak both went on eBay and got these for like 6 quid each and they both arrived even though they were used they both arrived in like as new condition and all the buttons have worked what's really cool is that as you hit any button and if you can see it's daylight as you hit any button no you can't the whole keypad lights up so if you're using it for films in the dark then, um, then at least all your buttons light up and you can see what you're doing um, it's just a really nice way of navigating around to videos and stuff on your Xbox I use it quite a lot now as a DVD player um, because I've got it hooked up with an optical out for the audio to my surround sound and the advantage of using the Xbox over my DVD player is it's got progressive output and um, so you, although it's the standard resolution people are saying it upscales I don't know if it does I think it just has a progressive output which looks better than interlaced and, um, and to be honest it does look a hell of a lot better um, but yeah I'd recommend getting the official remote to use with it, it's just a lot more fun and for 6 quid you might as well. Saves you using a, a hand controller which you have to keep turning on and turning off and, and all sorts. Well the other thing I thought I'd mention was you can, um, obviously when you're using Xbox Live and you're connected you, you also you get these little updates at the bottom of um, people signing on, people signing off, new message received, game invites sent, whatever. Um, there's a way of turning the notifications off um, during video playback because obviously if you're watching a movie or watching a video you don't want to be interrupted by the little bloop bloop and the, the thing pops up at the bottom so um, I'll quickly take you through how to set that up. Okay this is quickly how to get rid of notifications um, during video play. If you're on your normal uh, Xbox dashboard and you hit your X button and your controller uh, the Xbox silver button you'll launch your profile blade. If you go down to personal settings and then go down to notifications you'll find the option here it says show during videos if you click this it will untick the box you can now hit B and go back and now you'll still receive notifications as normal unless you're watching a full screen video in which case they won't pop up and as soon as you finish watching the video, the notifications then come in as you return to the dashboard.